down, folks. How are you? I don't know why I'm speaking like that. But uh, we're back with episode 22 of the Smell Behind the Podcast, and uh, it's going to dive straight into this there. Darren has a bit of football on the side, Liverpool are playing. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure this will be uploaded after the match is over, so happy days. But um, yeah, so uh, where is this? I was saying this earlier, Darren, right? You're going to laugh at this. Pandemic barber. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look at him, right? Show the picture, right? See oh, what I mean? right. You, 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 look at the, him, right? What does he call himself? The bone collector. The bone collector. <laughs> right. Oh. The right, methadone collector. The methadone he looks like. <laughs> the methadone collector is right ahead of him. But, uh, chop shop, Tug who used scissors to cut man's hair off, called himself the bone collector. Prior to being jailed, Mon 26th advertised his services as a, in quotation marks, pandemic barber under the name Sammy Mon the bone collector. Dun, dun, dun. With, directed, with decorative skulls on his profile. It's very edgy. Why would you? Why would you get your hair cut off someone like that? I know, but anyway, right? A tug, if, if, if a fucking tug. <laughs> the gas thing is, I've had I've had bigger shits than the cunt. Yeah, he's not a tug. He's no. It's just a. Uh, well, he's one. He's going around with a tattoo on his neck. Nothing against people with tattoos, by the way, because I'd love oh, an old, I'd love an old slave. But he's there's a certain type that we all know, and that he's tr- He's one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Let's call a spade a spade, right? Sam Mon is his name. And his name is on the Sunday World, right? It's it's here. He's not a minor. He's what, twenty six, was it? Twenty six? I'll just double check that. Twenty six. Talking about minors, I'd like to address something before we go any further. Oh go on actually. Yeah, oh yeah, on. I delved more into we were talking last week on the episode about the lad that pushed the girl under the, he, he, the train he, he, he kicked her and she fell in between the because uh, I seen the the footage actually yeah. after the fact. Anything I've said he just Deserve to be thrown off his team, and I'll take it back. My apologies, I was in the wrong. I gave an opinion on something that that I didn't know a lot about. But no, but we did say to your to your defence, and I'm sorry for cutting you off, Darren. We did say, you know, you weren't aware of the whole story. Yeah, you did say that. Oh, before, I did say that. To but, be fair, but yeah, no, I'll take it back. He should be thrown off his football team, and it is yeah. what it is. But I, but I will say this as well, because of. L- l- not not with yourself, but just just say like a personal experience, the way thing the way th- the way things were before, and people making allegations. Yeah, and, uh, it, you know it, yourself. It came from it. A, it was something that hit home with me. That's, yeah, that's it, struck, it, it struck a nerve, and that's why he became very Im- impassioned about it. And I knew why you were getting like that. Yeah, but as a, 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 as we both said, we don't know the full details. But if we do, we will yeah. correct it. Listen, here's what it is. He should be thrown off the team. He shouldn't. Listen, he. He's an animal, and that's all I'll say. Yeah, well, well, what I will say, I'll just, um, we will address that in, in a bit afterwards as well, because I actually have a follow up to that yeah. as well from the Sunday World. But I'll just, I'll just read a bit more uh, about this. A tug who used the scissors to help chop the air off a forty-three year old man during a cocaine fuel attack, nicknamed himself the Bone. I can't even say that. I can't even <laughs> say that. Probably what I was saying the Bone Collector. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just. I can't take him looking like the way he looks. I can't take that seriously. The Bone, the bone Collector. You're yeah. a gown. That's what you're about. He is a gown. Yeah. I've had bigger shoes than you. What body are you? The chicken Bone Collector. <laughs> <laughs> Little skinny chicken chest. I'm not. <laughs> but uh, the Sunday World can also reveal today how scissors mad Sam Mon. Moonlighted as a black market pandemic barber prior to being jailed this week. Mon was sentenced to seven and a half years in prison on Tuesday after Dublin Circuit Criminal Court heard how he was one of a group of four who held a man in his own home for six hours, stabbing him multiple times and cutting most of his right ear off. Prior to being jailed, Mon 26, 26 advertised his service as a quote unquote pandemic barber under the name Sammy Mon the bone collector with decorative skulls on his profile even though that was repeated in the fourth paragraph but whatever uh, throughout the pandemic he posted headshots of men whose hair he had barbered using a hair clippers right look at this there's a picture of the what's that the um the, we call it the, un, the, the guy the, the guy fox the it's, it, mask, it, it's the um i know the one you're thinking of anonymous anonymous mask but yeah. it's the the guy fox uh masks there but it's all colored and designed in his own way Oh, look at me, I'm trying to be all mysterious. The bone collector. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking bone, chicken bone collector. 
<laughs> but uh, the illegal business venture hit a stumbling block in April when he posted an image of a recently shorn customer alongside a post for me potential clients. My machine blew up straight after I did this, so no one asked me for haircuts till me new equipment till me new equipment lands. But man, a tran but man's transition from butcher to barber came to a shuddering halt on Tuesday after he pleaded guilty at Dublin Circuit Criminal Court to causing serious harm to Mark Bork 43 on August 4th, 2018 at the victim's home on Wifriars Gardens, Dublin A. That's uh, around by kind of Thomas Street, oh, Dublin A. Well, I'd imagine it'd be over that neck of the woods anyway. Yeah, because we're, we're, we're uneven, isn't it? 38 numbers, we're yeah, the uneven numbers. It, yeah, that's it. Because we're north side and all. But uh, Detective Garda Mark Dennehy said Mr. Bork had allowed the men into his home after his daughter asked if she could have some people over but when the group started to cause some trouble he asked everyone to leave. Look at this gown. What a retard. That's a that's a gown. I'd love now I'd love to be able to do a video just to show the camera this. Just yeah. see what we're saying because I'm just like <sighs> Listen, be careful now. Why? Because he's the bone collector. <laughs> <laughs> The only way you get the only way you'll get me is in my sleep. Yeah, well he shouldn't that just shows it to a person. He's well oh he's a scumbag. Doing that to somebody that was nice enough to have them in their home. Exactly. You know, so But that's the thing and you know that kinda of buzz back and it kinda of, kinda of ties in with the story about the umfla there, you know, yeah. the, the train incident and all that like that was what the force. But what type was his daughter? Was she hanging around with that? That's that, yeah. You know what I mean? She wanted his bone collector. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, fist bump, fist bump. That deserved a fist bump. Or, uh, come here. Uh, he was then ordered into the sitting room. Hold on, am I, am I skipping? Uh, yeah, no, he asked him to leave and split his lip, yeah. Uh, he was then ordered into the sitting room where the group continued to hit him over the head with the bottle. Oh no, Mr. Bork, like that's full on assault, attempted yeah. murder, all the above. Like, uh, Mr. Bork was then held down while his right ear was cut off. With, with, was cut with try to hold on, what way is this fucking written? Sorry, Mr. Bork was then held down while his right ear was cut with try to cut his ear with the scissors. This is how that's, it's written yeah, down here. That's, that's a that's typo, yeah. I knew, I knew I wasn't reading it wrong. But uh, Detective Garda then he said it was accepted that Mon was not the ringleader of th this group. But he did take part in the attack. Oh, trying to downplay. Yeah. That's all they fucking get on. He agreed that man and others pre uh, present each took it in turn to cut the man's right here until most of it was severed. Mr. Bork was also stabbed multiple times with a second scissors. The victim was taken to the bathroom when he was forced to get into the bath and the taps were turned on. A mirror was broken over his head and the toilet system was used to hit him on the head and legs. That's attempted murder. Yeah. And I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm what the fuck? It's wrong, isn't it? At some point after 9am, the group left the flat and Garda got a call informed them there was a group of males in a nearby park who were covered in blood. The men were later approached by Garda and apparently severed air was found nearby. There, you can see the, the flat, the picture of the flat, flat complex there. Would they, not, would they not wash their hands or something? Or? Well, they were out, they were out on coke, they were. Uh, it was coke yeah. for you, they, so they were fucking just... Crazed. N not. I'm not making excuses for them at all. They're just scum. Yeah. They're just scum. Yeah. Listen. That's 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 just. Uh, that's bad form. You don't. You don't. You don't. Uh, you don't do that. You don't. Someone's gonna have you in the home. You don't fucking. You ask you to leave because you're getting messy and then you. You're getting messy and then you get for. But on one point, I'd slap the head off myself. Oh, yeah, yeah, man was, like as there was four of them. And yeah. Man's on his own. So. Yeah, I know what I mean. I'm talking about the him. Yeah, I'm not I saying know. I'm gonna be Jackie J Rambo taking them all off. You can't tell. Take about two of them before they get. But he'd want to fucking make sure they never get back up. Yeah. Because that'd be the last one. But bite his face off. Not his nose. His face off. Small little skinny little face on him. <laughs> he looked like the bone collector as well. Because his face be all bone, skeleton face now. <laughs> fucking skeletor's love child. He'll get on you. That's yeah. after annoying me. That triggered me. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's really after triggering me. But come here, listen. Kill the heads and all that will prevent. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a bit emotional there, you know. But, um, yeah, no, I don't blame you. It's horrible. You don't, you don't, uh, you don't. It's, it's bad form. But see, as I said at the start, what's his daughter like? Exactly. What's his daughter like? What's his? Da you know what I mean? If she's so shaped with that, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know yourself. You know you need you need you need to take a long hard look at yourself there. Yeah. A little recession, man. Recession, man, is right. But come here. We'll, we'll we'll move on there because. 
That's just bad form. Yeah. That's just bad form. Not into that at all. Yeah. Left me with a bad taste in my mouth, so let me just have a soapy water there. <laughs> and he's scoring a match. One all. <laughs> it's one all. Yeah, it's what, what was the West Brom, was it? West Brom? West Brom, which? West Brom, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Salah nearly scored it. All right, there you go. Mo Salah. Even Mo Salah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Actually, you know what? We will uh, we, we'll briefly touch on, actually, since since the match is on, just a, a little, little, little side bit. What did you think of the whole protest and stuff? Remember the, the, the oh, protest, the, the, Liverpool the, you know, United? You know, yeah, yeah well, I, I agree with... Are you, are you, listen, I'm not the, I'm a Liverpool fan. I'm not the, the whole Super League, I know we touched on it the before. The biggest but. United fan, but at the same time, the Glazers have been robbing the, the club for years. It's quite obvious, since isn't he, it? Since he took over, they've, yeah. been, they've been screwing the fans as well. Yeah. Like, the thing is, there. This is people just think, oh, it's because of the Super League. This is an accumulation of things. Well, it's build up. It's not an isolated incident. This isn't just because of the Super League. They've mm -hmm. done so yeah. much dirty things in the fans, and the fans had enough. And what better game to protest on than Liverpool and United? Because it's one of the most watched games in the world. Most viewed with the yeah. most viewers, and yeah, so, yeah. But then again, my argument was, why didn't <coughs> they, why didn't they do with the night they were playing Roma? Because there was wouldn't be so many eyes on them. The, but there would be though. It, it, it's the I think it was like the quarters or the semis. Yeah. I think it was the semis. Was it the, maybe the quarters? The quarter final of the Europa League. I'm right. saying that the Europa League probably not actually wouldn't be a lot of eyes because it's like watching paint drawing a plastic. <laughs> Although I have seen a thing on Facebook there. Oh, what was it? Somebody um, because <laughs> you know the obviously the whole United Liverpool banter and stuff yeah. on the on Facebook. <laughs> Someone turning around and goes, <laughs> fucking celebrating the Europa League. Trophy League has won the World Cup or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I let you know your fans for you. Yeah, yeah. That's what they do. And again, I, I do see the, the, the obviously this is me looking as a, like a spectator looking from the outside, you know, just looking at the banter. Yeah, just, like, it's funny. It's funny. You know, will never become the team they were unless they get rid of Oli. Who? Gonna show, uh, the, oh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old, what was it he was calling the baby face assassin back in the yeah, day? They yeah, they need to get rid of him because don't yeah. get me wrong, he's a, he's a decent manager, but. If you manage that team, yeah, you'd come second and third in the league. Yeah, you know, listen, his history himself, he would manage hard of a couple of years ago. Right, so more, know probably more than a couple of years ago. Right, they were relegated. Yeah, Carnival, Carnival. But the thing is, though, right, lower league, like they beat the championship, but yeah. they came up, they came up to the Premier League. Yeah, they Carnival are a decent team. They wouldn't be a great team. Yeah, look at the difference. Not in the league. Like, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's not that talented. No, he, he, but, this, this was real. The last draw. With the, a the, last ditch effort yeah, like yeah. The, the had uh, David Moyes after Fergie yeah. Louis van Gaal uh, Louis van Gaal Jose no was it Jose Mourinho I think it might have been Jose after Sorry. that and then Jose was sacked Mourinho yeah yeah and yeah. then Oli stood in by Jose yeah, after yeah, Jose yeah. was sacked but come here they've they, gone 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 sorry it's, it, it, they, they had so many managers in the past since Fergie left, the past 10 years, well, yeah. 15 years. Where Fergie was there since the early 90s. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fer Fergie, Fergie well, well, whenever it was. Fergie's Fergie the best 90s. manager in the world. You have to give credit where it's due. Where yeah. he's, where, like, he, he said, I'm going to knock Liverpool off that purge. And he done what he said he was going to do. You have to, give, you have to respect that. Boy, he, he's dirty. Yeah. You know, he, he fucked over players that he shouldn't have fucked over. Here we know Fergie. Well, yeah, Roy Keane oh, is the, one of the biggest ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, like, Roy Keane gave his fucking heart and soul to Manchester United. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like... He don't like he. Listen, Roy Keane was the captain. He he carried that team for a long time. Oh, people right, forget that. I remember. Yeah, well, people, in the people 90s, they yeah. Don't forget that. And <laughs> he, he, I love Roy Keane, even mm. though he, he he's a United fan. Even though he's a United yeah, fan, but Irish though. But he's Irish. But I think he's, <laughs> he, he just doesn't care. He says it how it is. But you, you know, you will get there one day. One day. Well, the thing the thing is though, it's uh, I was I was actually I had something in my head there. <laughs> I was gonna say about that drawing a blank. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you, you know, you, when I don't think they went like you know Gary Neville. He, you know Gary Neville. I remember now. Yeah, yeah, I he, know Gary Neville. Yeah, he, I remember. He, he, he thinks that they need to boy Harry Kane, and they need to boy Sancho. Jordan Sancho plays for Borussia Dortmund. Right, yeah, I they think need, they is. need to boy him <laughs> for them to win the league. And Jack Grealish. Oh no, Jack, Jack Grealish. Oh, no, Jack he, Grealish. He's the plastic he, paddy. He's from. He isn't. He's not a Norwich. No, oh, was his, that your man? He did the sleeve in, wasn't it? Him and Declan and Royce, two little fucking. Ah. Ah, uh, right, because they, they didn't play for the senior Ireland team. Or so. No, they never played it. They uh, never played in a, a qualification. A competitive game. Yeah, it was only friendlies. friendlies. Yeah, That's what it was. So yeah, that's yeah, what, but they, look, look at Declan Royce now. Yeah. Like he, What's he, he doing? He, you know, he's, good. he's a really good midfielder. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. He's doing really well for West Ham. 
But he'd be lucky to be get to get called up to the England squad. Really? Now Jack Grealish will because he's outstanding. Jack Grealish is unbelievable. He's can't, really you good. can't deny talent. But if they had a set with Ireland, Ireland would have had a decent him. Yeah. But he chose England. And it is what it is. It is what it is. There, Ireland is this is what happens. Look at the looks of Jason McIntyre. Yeah. <laughs> the same. He 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 wasn't really Irish. Yeah, but, but, but it's, 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 the, it's the grandparents' yeah. uh, rule. But um, no, just it's just saying about uh, uh, Ole there. Um, great player, obviously not a great manager. He's good. Don't get me wrong. Don't. Listen. No, but he's not. Alec. But see, that's big shoes to fill. Yeah, that's he, also big shoes to fill. Not, he's not. He's no Jurgen Klopp. No. He, he, he's <laughs> now saying that Jose Mourinho went to United and didn't do much. I think he won the Europa League. I think that's all he might have won. He might have won something else. Yeah, but he's the special one. Yeah. <laughs> but see, he, he didn't see the looks of Paul Pogba. You pay a hundred million for him, and he's a donkey. Right. He, his 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 agent is he he gets way too involved. Right. Stay in your lane. You're an agent. You you're not. Football. You're not an expert. Yeah. He, but the, 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 see, this is what my argument was. Do you know your fans ranting and raving about how they're signing Paul Pogba? Do, do, do you have a short memory because Fergie was the one to let him go. Mm-hmm. Fergie let him go. Did you? Yeah. Know, for free. For free, and then you know you paid a hundred million to get him back. To get him back, what? Where's where's the logic in that? None. There's no. no logic in that. But Fergie let him go because he knew he was bad news. Yeah. He he knew that his his agent was a wanker. Oh, it was just he didn't want the hassle. Yeah. There, go get out of here. Yeah, get out of you. Stop that. But just back to back to Ole there. But just just to use a kind of boxing uh, analogy, um, obviously Ole not a big like you know. He's a good manager, but he's not a great manager, and he's yeah. definitely not Alex Ferguson. But just to use a, a quick boxing analogy, and you'll agree with me on this, Manuel Stewart. Can you remember any of yeah. his fights? Yeah, yeah. No, no, but man, but you know what I mean. Do you know any of his? No, but what I'm saying is like they're not memorable. He's yeah. a better trainer than he was a fighter. No yeah. disrespect to you know R.I.P. Manuel Stewart. You know, trainer of champions, all the above. But he was a better trainer, better boxing that trainer, happen, and that's what happens. But look, look you know at Steven I mean? Gerrard. Yeah, another example. Yeah. Even though he, he's he went, not, but whatever. It <laughs> there is what it is. Mm. I'm a Liverpool fan, so I love him. I don't care who. Ah, is. yeah. Right. He probably doesn't slip up. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, he didn't. He might. He's he, still he, doing he good. He might not have won the Premier League, but he won the Scottish League. Is that what it was? Yeah, the Scottish yeah, Premier yeah. League. He won. So he has got a Premier League title, just not the English. Just not the English, but still, regardless, yeah. it's still, yeah, Premier League. But he, he, look, he came there, and look, Rangers were doing, were not doing great. They couldn't compete uh, with What, what was I like seeing? Something they were bleeding the uh, other bollocks out or something. Yeah, I don't they know, had to go bankrupt because yeah. I wouldn't follow Rangers. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, something like that, and pretty much Gerard came in. But Gerard got, he done a bit of business with Liverpool, getting a few loans off them, and and if he, he bought your man Mor- Morales. He's a striker. He's decent, but he, he's a bit of a loyal for. He bought him, and he's t- the Rangers team is really good. Right. What other team? Now the Scottish league isn't very competitive. It's, it's okay. Yeah. But what other team? What other team goes unbeaten for the whole, the whole season? The whole season. Yeah. No, no. Not, not, not many. Not, Arsenal not, did in the Premier League. All right. I'll take yeah. Come here, listen. You would know more than I would now. Arsenal. Did. I know a bit, but there's not a, a lot. few teams that would. But yeah. I mean, Scottish Premier yeah. League teams. Yeah. It's good, and I'm delighted for him, and I I hope he does well because. Rangers is just it's just warming him up for the Liverpool seat. That's all there is. Because he's gonna he's, yeah, come he's, back. He's gonna come back and manage Liverpool. When Cl- yeah. listen, Klopp's contract's up in twenty twenty four. Gerrard's contract's up in twenty twenty four. He's getting his experience up in Rangers. Exactly. It's it's like he's been groomed to be the next yeah. Liverpool manager. He, he he's gonna be better than Jurgen Klopp yeah. if he go, if he keeps going the way he's going. Well, well yeah, I can definitely you know, say not, that. I'm yeah, not yeah, saying yeah, yeah. he is. I'm saying he. No, will. but it's looking that way. Yeah, you're not saying it is. It's just looking that way. Because look, look at the, like you look at Roy Keane for an ex- for an example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a brilliant. He was a brilliant footballer. Mm. Not a great manager. No. <laughs> you know, like he's not a great manager. We all remember what happened in Saipan two thousand two. The big rail. Him and Mick McCarthy. L Mick McCarthy. He's baby. But see, Mick, <laughs> I say that was more like a clash of personalities. Though. That's a, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I'd agree with you. Yeah, definitely. Because the two of them don't care, they say how it is. <laughs> no stone unturned. Yeah. Oh, so we move on. Yeah, to we move on. Yeah, yeah. I was just I was looking at me notes there. Um, <laughs> I don't want me to be all doom and gloom with this era, but it's just about the whole goings on in Israel with the Palestinians and yeah, wherever. Like you know, it's just there was a thing I was saying earlier, and I'll just quickly, I'll quickly uh, look. And it was actually a tweet I was saying from a Palestinian uh, lady. And I tell you one thing, it 
It tugged on my heartstrings. It's crazy. It it's... tugged on my heartstrings. Uh, her name is Im- Iman Basher. At some uh, at sometimes her uh, Twitter handle at sometimes poo, p o o h as in like Winnie the Pooh. By the way, uh, tonight I put the kids to sleep in our bedroom so that when we die we die together, and no one would live to mourn the loss of one another. Hashtag Gaza under attack, and that was from the twelfth f- uh, of May. Yeah, so that's two. Day. What's that? Two days ago, was it? Yeah, three. No, 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 three days ago. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Jeez, uh, it's, yeah. It's it's horrible. Uh, four days, sorry, four days ago. But um, yeah, so you were saying uh, it's horrible. It shouldn't be going on, but no. unfortunately, it is. And so, like somebody, someone needs to step in and say, "Here." And I don't know where Sleepy Joe made a few comments, but he's really unwell. Listen, Israel was always there, and when I'm, I'm talking about Israel, I'm talking about like the the, the Jewish side because it's the Jews that are bombing the yeah the the Palestinians, like the, the, the Arabs, like Palestinians, you know. And uh, Israel claims to uh, here's one here. Uh, no, actually, sorry. Um, yeah, sure. For years, uh, Israel was always seen as the unofficial fifty fourth state of America. Oh really? Oh, did actually, you, did you I never thought, hear of that? No, I didn't. Yeah, actually. well, that, well, well, that's just you know, conspiracy and all that stuff because you know, Amer- uh, the American government. By the way, I'm not talking about the American people before, and yeah. it starts getting it twisted here. Um, it's it's in you like obviously America's like you know all you know freedom and all this stuff like mm. but they're well able to go out to Afghanistan and, and cause mayhem. Yeah, you know because you know it's the whole what happened in nine eleven. But I still believe it was an inside job. Did I? Did I? Yeah, yeah. I but but, that, I, I, but, but actually, that's a different story. But go on. Nine eleven, right? We're go on the subject. Go for it. I was in. The state, so I went to oh yeah, we well, we spoke about it on yeah. one of the episodes before. <laughs> but that eeriness when you walk into that not, uh, the uh, trade center. Well, it's not the trade center anymore. Ground Zero. Yeah, where yeah the monument. That's yeah, ground, yeah. where Ground Zero. Yeah, we have was, videos yeah. and stuff of the monument. It's really nice. Don't get me wrong. It, it was a nice memorial, yeah. lovely and. But it's really early. It's because you know what happens when you go in. It's just like oh, the the, the, uh, the stairs are still there, but they're broke. Mm. You know, like, and it's, when you walk through the security, you, you get serious. You go through looking airport. Oh, you have to, yeah. Yeah, no, loads of uh, NYPD there. A hundred percent, loads. Yeah. You're not going anywhere. No, <laughs> uh, but it's it's horrible. I don't believe it. It doesn't make sense. Mm. Uh, the story doesn't add up. No, no George doesn't. W definitely involved in it. It's it's just the, the whole thing. What was that documentary? Loose Change. Yeah, I've watched so much documentary. There was other, there was other things, but, yeah. loose, but loose Change was the main one. I've watched no. that. But you know, no, what happened? I, I came back, right? I came back from yeah. doing the the tour, and we we went up and we, we went for a sleep bollocks to walk on our twenty thousand steps in in probably three hours. Like New York is huge, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a huge. Yeah. <coughs> we ended up. We had a kip in New York. I said we go out for some food. We didn't even end up sleeping. I ended up sitting there watching a bleeding hour long documentary on fucking nine eleven. I was like, couldn't get. I was all interested and deadly and all in, in, intrigued. No, it was. It's just uh, uh, something that really interested me because I know that that. that Laden, whatever his name is. Osama bin Laden. Yeah, yeah. he he didn't do it. He well, didn't do it. The day but what was it supposed well, supposedly. The day before it happened he left the country. He yeah. Was, he was in America. Because he was allowed to live. Yeah, why if, if he why did he allow, allow him to live if they thought if they had they definitely got a tip off. They had to it's fucking it's the United States one of the most powerful countries in the world. Well not anymore, China is. But <laughs> <laughs> it was cold blood. Yeah. yeah, no China is, no doubt about it, here. China is going to rule this. If, Come here, we if they don't get Joe Boyd in their office, China is going to fucking destroy. They're going to make... The new superpower. I'm telling you, Joe Boyd and Kamala Harris won't be able. There was a re- she, I think she ran in 2016. I remember you telling me that, yeah. And, and she didn't even... Here, you, you go back in your land there. Shh. Yeah, so <laughs> she definitely can't. But I think, right, this is what I think, I'm not a Trump supporter. Right? No. I'm not one bit of Trump supporter. But... I think they should do another quick election. Let him run again. Him, Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> because he does want to run. I know, I say that. Yeah, so two of them. See what happens. Whatever, the winner, winner. They're not going to win. So it's a win win for you. <laughs> they, they gave you a lose lose the last one. Sleepy job on fucking Donald Trump. Here's on Colin now, right? The Rock wins, all right? The Rock goes over to Palestine and all and saves the fucking day. President <laughs> Johnson, <laughs> out of Air Force One, Par- Paris Island, <laughs> down, grew up out of that. Abseiling, whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about? I do, I do think uh, 
Joe Boyd needs to step down. The man yeah, is unwell. Yeah. It, 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 he's quite this, crazy. This has gone beyond a joke. This this is elderly. This, this is abuse. Uh, uh, yeah, elderly abuse. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's gone beyond the joke. It's horrible. Like he, how old is he? He's probably nearly eighty, I'd say. Do you know what? I'll, I think he might be. I think he might be seventy nine, eighty. We'll just double check that. Just be. Because I know he's. He, I think he's the oldest president. One of the oldest presidents, anyway. But look at Trump. Trump is in his seventies, and he was well. He was all right. Like. What did you What did you say? Seventy. I think it said seventy nine or eighty. Seventy eight. Seventy eight. I knew he's, he, he's seventy nine in uh, November this year. You yeah. see, it's still old enough though. But it's still old enough to be to have dementia. Yeah, exactly. You know, when when an old when an old uh, when an old uh, general is coming out and speaking out and saying that Joe Biden needs to step down, what does that tell you? It tells you, it tells you all you need to know. He needs to step down. He's yeah. not fit for the job, and it's horrible to see. And yeah. I think his wife's involved in this. I think she loves the fucking first lady title, and that's why he's not stepping down. Of course she does. Because she's pulling the strings, and so is Kamala Harris. And uh, it's horrible. He's not. He's fucking falling upstairs. He tripped over fucking fresh air. She's choking on fresh air. <coughs> yeah, look, it's he's, he's oh, God love him. God love him. He, I know, no, I'll joke on the side. I do genuinely uh, feel sad for him. And all. But uh, I'll read a bit, a bit about this. It's from the RT. He's only bumping up his pension, but he's not going to say anything. His wife's going to get it. Exactly, hundred percent. But um, just about the whole kind of Israel Palestine uh, situation. This is from uh, RT News, and it was actually uh, earlier this morning, uh, quarter to nine this morning. Uh, Israel claims to have destroyed Hamas leaders' home in Gaza as cross-border attacks continue. Uh, the Israel Defense Forces (IDF) says the home of the leader of the Palestinian mil militant group Hamas in Gaza has been destroyed. Israeli jets have been bombing the Palestinian enclave in response to the rocket barrage by Hamas. IDF spokesperson Brigadier General Hidai Zil Silberman confirmed to Israel media that the military targeted the home of can you even pronounce that? Yehi Sin Sinwar. Yeah. Ye 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 job the Maroi would anyway. Yehi. <laughs> Yehi. It's uh, I'll spell it out. It's Y E H I Y E H. Yeah. Yehi <laughs> Sinwar, the top Hamas leader in Gaza, who was said to live in the town of Khan Yunus. Al Jazeera cited a Hamas TV station confirming Sinwar's home was attacked. The IDF also struck the home of his brother, another senior Hamas member, but it's not clear if the two shared a residence. It is also not known if Sinwar was at a home during the raid. Um, according to Gaza health officials, eight people were killed and 45 wounded, most of them civilians, in, Isra in, is in Israeli air raids overnight. Like, what what's the, the, what what the fuck? Yeah, what's it going to take though? What, what's it going to take for them to stop? Like, like uh, as long as I can remember, this has been happening. On and off. The yeah. only thing is... Re the 2014 was the last time they were neck and neck like this. No, it's not that, it's not that you were neck and neck. This last one we went on because it's not put into the mainstream media. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe so. But it's I'm been happening the whole time, I, I'd imagine. I, I think it was 2000... Like, yeah. this this bombing, like, back and forth, was the tell, I'm sure I was yeah. reading an article earlier. But what I'm saying is, some of the stuff isn't even put into the mainstream media. Oh, no, because they want to cover it up. Because it's, it's swept under the proverbial carpet, so to speak. But why isn't someone stepping in? Well, I mean, can, the UN can step in, can't they? You would think that, wouldn't you? Well, well yeah, that's... Yeah, you would think that. It's, 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 there's a lot more to it than what we know. Yeah, actually, while we're on the governments and stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. what do you think of the HSE being hacked and they want 50 million Bitcoin? Who <laughs> there with the people? The, the, hack the hackers want 50 million Bitcoin. They're not going to get off. Michal, El, El, the bishop, he said... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't my child. <laughs> he said that uh, he's not... He's not Bitcoin, gonna, yeah. He's not going to give them anything. But I heard on the radio today that they, they, they hacked the HSE yeah. and then I think, is it a public health? Or not the public health, what, what was it? Something in the health department. Right, the public the health social department. health department. Or something. Yeah, I can't remember yeah, yeah. what it was, but the, they're, they're being hacked as well today. Today? Today. Oh, so that's, I didn't know about that. I'm sure if you look her up, you, you might you always see it. Cyber attack. Yeah, so that that happened today. So what? what? Like, so what, this is really like, here, listen, you pay us the money or we're going to go and destroy it. For the cyber attack, RTA, yeah. yeah. Carried out on Department of Health. Department, Department of, of Health, of that's health. what I couldn't remember, yeah. Department yeah. of Health, you're right. Uh, do you know what I'll, I'll, I'll read this yeah. out now might as well the Department of Health has been the victim of a cyber attack similar to the ransomware attack on the health service executive the department has also shut down its systems and it is working to safely restore its data in a statement the department confirmed 
that late last week it was subject to a ransomware attack and have been working to respond to the incident since Thursday. We continue to assess the impact across all our systems and our focus is on protecting our data, the statement said. RT News has learned that a digital note from the Cyber Crime Group believed to be responsible has been left on the department's IT systems, similar to the one discovered at the HSE. The National Cyber Security Centre, along with the Garda and the Defence Forces, are investigating the attacks. Fuck me, this is serious shit. Yeah, it's a, it's just see, they don't want people to worry, you know. We have her under control, and they ah, don't... Go back to bed! <laughs> yeah, they don't have her under control at all. Go back to bed, Ireland, and here's... Here's more bollocksology. Here's more Love Island to watch on the telly. But you know what? Fuck Imagine off. these people who hacked them, right? Mm. Imagine they had this, they, they went into the Department of Health, mm. they hacked them, right. they found documents saying coronavirus wasn't real. And they're like, here, we're going to release these if you don't, uh, if, what, you, if you don't give us the Bitcoin there. And um, what have they found files, right? That Bertie Hearn had blood farms in the Dublin Mountains. <laughs> 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 but think, think of it. It's tinfoil hats. Yeah, that that, that, that's all there is. But <laughs> imagine, or the numbers, the numbers were always higher than what they were pretending. My great film mode. Yeah, it's a right book. Oh, right, a book. Yeah, the fictional story of Ireland's corrupt government. Ah, look, no, it's a half truth. I'd actually, it's a half truth. I'd like, I'd no, I'd like to write a book on uh, werewolves and zombies, and but bakes in Ireland. Yeah. I'd like to do something like that. In the Irish countryside, no. Yeah. Forest, no. But it'd be deadly, Cameras wouldn't it? And everything. That's something, that's something we could always think about. Definitely. Start making films. Yeah. Show films. Even though Smell Me Helmet Helmer Productions. There you go. It was a, it was a SMH. Smell Me Helmet News. Yeah. SMH News. Tell you. Yeah, <laughs> we have a few things planned already. Uh, we'll see. Uh, watch this space, folks. Watch this space. But, um... Yeah, that whole situation in Palestine and whatever, just to kind of briefly just touch back on that there. Um, I think somebody needs to step in before it gets... Yeah. I mean, you would think, in. as I said, you would think that'd be the case. I mean, I know as I said before about America being the... about Israel being the 54th state. Yeah, yeah. But, like, Israel... Israel actually, they're... they're in, they have a, look. Like, they'd be well able to defend themselves... As you can see, what's going on? But all right, what's that? Now this is from uh, I don't know what website that is. Let's just back up out of uh, the New York Times, and it is oh, 5th of June, 1971. <laughs> Jeez, wow! Israel, the 54th state? Question mark. All right, 1971. Maybe a little read of that there. <laughs> now oh. this wasn't last week or anything. So no, this is <laughs> there's old news, and then there's this. <laughs> but uh, this goes to show you how long this has been going on for yeah uh, uh, basically anything post 1959 I think is to do with kind of Palestine and Israel 1959 1959 yeah but um, let me see right well, yeah I'll read a bit of this right here we are this is from New York Times and the date is the 5th of June 1971 and it's called Israel the 54th state Question mark. Um, Owing Mills, Middle East, what's that? A Middle East settlement as envisioned in UN Re Resolution 242 will depend very largely upon the degree of influence the US is willing to apply to persuade Israel that her ultimate survival depends on acceptance by her neighbours and international guarantees rather than on any specific frontier secured by continuing military superiority. All reports from our diplomatic missions abroad indicate that the world community, including Britain, France and our NATO and other NATO allies, look to the United States to exercise towards this end the leverage inherent in our special relationship quotation marks with Israel. Oh right. That is this is nineteen seventy one, like you know yeah. what I mean? So That's mad how that popped up though, isn't it? No, well, yeah, but it's, it's just it's, Oh were you flicking? It, it's it's not that I, I just googled trail, flicking trail, and President Tom and President Truman and everything. Jesus Christ! But anyway, I'll just I, I, there's more to it than that. But I don't want to bore you with that because there's a lot. But um, Israel now this is from Hearts.com, 24th of May 2018. 
Israel declared the 54th state of the United States Israel. You know, so I presume that's an Israeli. Yeah, it's a, it's oh, sorry. Israel declared the 54th state of the United States. Israel, Israel an American colony? Question mark. Although Israel is not in reality a pro protectorate of the United States of America, you cannot ignore the tremendous influence that the US has on Israel in all fields. On the face of it, Israel is an independent state, but in practice, there is no decision that does not pass through the US. The economic, cultural, military dependence that Israel has developed in the United States in the last four decades, together with the flourishing of globalization and the free market in Israel in the 1980s, made us a kind of US beneficiary, us. So that means this website is Israeli. Um, made us a kind of US beneficiary, so yeah. That's why I'm but but that's why America hasn't gotten a fault. That makes sense. But that's why America hasn't gotten involved. Well someone else needs it. I know. It, it's getting out of hand, it's not for no. like, kids are being killed. Yeah. Like in yeah. like wherever, like if you're a soldier going to war, you're a soldier going to war, you know what you're getting yourself in yeah. for. You know what you're signing up for, but when you're bombing innocent civilians They don't deserve it. They no. don't they don't it, it's no. politics. Uh, yeah. It exactly. is what it is, it's just politics. And they need to stop. Because it's not for it's, it's horrible. It's look they're, they them kids have a, would have had a future. Mm -hmm. Only for these goons with the fucking rockets. Yeah. P yeah. Uh, fat cat, uh, politicians in their fucking suits uh, making decisions, you know, playing God with people's lives and it's know, wrong. all that stuff. Yeah. It's so fucking wrong, Darren. Look. It's so fucking wrong. And what is it? It's the Muslims? It's the, the, the uh, Israelis are the Jews. All oh, right, it's the Muslims not involved, no? No, they are. Yeah. But they're, they're, they're the, Palis the Palestinians. Yeah. Palestinians, they're the, the Palestinians are the ones getting bombed. Yeah, yeah, they're the ones getting bombed. Yeah, in like in Palestine. I was watching a thing now at the Sun. Uh, yeah, this this fellow was he obviously he was all busted up and yeah. the, the reporter was like, oh, what 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 happened? He said, like, oh, because I'm Arab, I was sitting in, I was sitting in the my car, and he he tried to stone him. They tried to stone him. Yeah, so he had to reverse. He said he missed cars by inches. He had Jesus to try and drive away. From the, like, so that's how bad it's getting. It's just disgusting. It is. It's absolutely disgusting. It is. Like that's kind of you know where, where like where Jerusalem and yeah, that's where that is. But I know you're probably thinking Israel and Palestine is a separate country. It's the same country. Yeah. See, that's where people get. That's it, it, it's the same country because the Israelis, the Jews, yeah, call it Israel. The Palestinians. Well, obviously Palestine. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. It's basically Jews versus Muslims. Do you know what I mean? It's, crazy. it's 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 but like it's oh. I wonder I don't think it'll ever change though, will it? No. I think this is just the way it is. And maybe just that's why no one's getting involved. War and conflict and But I, I think the UK might they might But see the UK being, you know, party party with America, like, you know, I, I I doubt that very much. Yeah, because I know Europe isn't happy about it. Of course not. So they might step in. The EU. Yeah, and that's not good. Do you want to do you want to create a European army, right? Yeah, I remember hearing about that before. I don't yeah, like that. The EU army. That's not good. No, of course not. How how can you communicate with someone in Germany if you don't know German? Exactly. Unless they're gonna make a mandatory. In skills and What German? Yeah. And that. But look like, we think of it, who's ruling Europe? Well I know Angela Merkel and <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, but like, but the, the ironic part of that is, right? And we spoke about World War Two before. Even though Hitler was Austrian, he spoke German. He spoke yeah. you know, the, the language. And that was the thing. If they had a won World War Two, we'd all be speaking German. But it would have been a f would have been weird. Yeah, but like it's kind of nearly happening now. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's kind of nearly happening now, which is weird. But see, this the the they want this. Mm. They they want yeah, yeah. they. So what is it they? Not the UN, not the UN. What's the name of the United Nations? Isn't it the UN, no. was it? Uh, NATO, was it? Yeah. NATO. Oh yeah. North Atlantic it's the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. Yeah. Yeah. But, they, but America's they, involved in that as well, sorry. Yeah. But they, they look so say if somebody came to to try and attack order. Yeah. So say for example, we're being hacked. Yeah. They're claiming it's someone in Nigeria. I don't think so. No. I think it's Putin. I sent you a link a couple of weeks ago. Right. Of where where was a, a Russian spy found in Dublin? Oh, over the south side. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. Yeah, 
Yeah, I forgot about that. Think about it. And now we're getting why, why, sorry why, about I things. was like, oh yeah, the Russians boys are trying to get to England. Why would they come near Ireland? Who's going to think they're going to attack Ireland? Ireland don't do anyone. Yeah. No, you know we're neutral. Like. Yeah, well, but, but, but are we though? Well, we don't the know. EU and it, it, it's looking more likely that we won't be very soon. And I remember that business uh, the, the letting them uh, refuel their planes in Shannon and all. I didn't like that. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was bad juju. That, that wasn't cool because they shouldn't have been. Because yeah, yeah. the, that's the real. They can fly. They, they yeah. can fly. But it's something like they can't fill up or something because we're not. It's so. I can't remember. Yeah, 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 it, it, was, it. it was threatening our neutrality. Yeah, they can stop in Shannon. But yeah. they can't fail to go. Say if you want to go and attack someone, yeah, you wouldn't be able to fill up the tanks and yeah. come, go, oh, it's going down here now. The bomb days goes, they can't do that, no, because what neutral, yeah, don't do that. But but it, defe- it, it, it defeats the purpose of stopping that, yeah, it does, you know what I mean. But th- but that's what people say, yeah, I don't know. I think El Michal Martin and El Vrad God love her though, I'm telling you, they were before we know, we will be, we will be, our kids will be out. Like Russia, that six is a Russia, is it? That sixteen, they go out the water. Some, uh, t- I think it's, uh, no, in Poland it's eighteen. Poland, is yeah, it? When you turn eighteen, it's mandatory. They do, they do a mandatory year of service in Poland. I think, I, I think it was there was a lad in my class from Russia. Because remember, in school years ago, uh, obviously no names, whatever, but the lad I worked with in Poland. Yeah. Um, you remember showing me all the picture of him in the army? You remember him telling me, uh, you know, he had to do his mandatory year in the um, in the army. I think Swe- I think it's the same in Sweden as well. I think it is. I know it's December. I know it's definitely in Poland. And no, is it? Where's the uh, the foot, uh, Tottenham footballer son? Right. He had to go there last year. I think he's from. Is he from South or not? No, he's from South Korea. I think. I think it's South. Don't think it's North Korea. No, it's definitely not North. It's probably South. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. As far as I'm aware, I think it's mandatory. And he South had to go. Korea he had to go. Right? He had to leave Tottenham. He had go to leave and listen. Have to go do me mandatory. And he done it. Yeah. Did a year, was it? Yeah, for a blade. And though. he came back then. Yeah, living all there. that money and living the high life, and then he still goes back to do it. I'm in England now. <laughs> Fuck is, won't go back to the country. Yeah, but he won't be allowed back in. I'd rather not. Yeah. Like if you're on, if you're on that much money, and you know. Yeah, well, but that's obviously just him. He could bribe his way back in. But that's just him, though. Oh yeah, no, no, we know that. But when you think of it, he didn't have to do it. That's yeah. that's what I'm getting at. No, I yeah, hundred percent. But uh, we 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 move on there. We yeah, we move on there. We have. Should have had this ready to go, rock and roll, but you know yourself. Uh, yeah. So this is just uh, about what we were speaking about earlier, the whole junction attack. Oh the, the yeah. There, yeah. It's on the world train terror. Mum of dart attack suspects. Suspect threatens to sue oil trail over CCTV footage leak. The fly there. Yeah. <laughs> Getting attacked. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she was angry that her son was visible in the footage, and she's looking to get a claim over. Yeah, but yeah, but I can understand where she's coming from because he's a minor. His his face uh, and anything I've seen of it, uh, their faces were blurred out because they were a minor. Yeah, the faces were blurred out. But was it blurred out on Facebook? Oh, couldn't tell you. It could, have been, it could have been blurred out on uh, this, like on the a newspaper online. Well, so. I know on this Sunday World thing. Yeah. But why didn't it. she come out and say she's disgusted with her son for doing that? And she, I, I'm really sorry. I, I'm gonna. Gonna discipline him now. He he shouldn't have done that. No, why, yeah. You then. know why? Why put in a claim? Why put in a claim? Because this goes back to what we said. Yeah, you last week. yourself. No, 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 no. Not that. Why is he behaving like this? Oh yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah, they don't know. Yeah. She's obviously the fucking problem. His home environment is is more likely the problem. I don't want to be one passing judgment here, but we can only we, yeah, but we're we're just spectating. We don't actually know what's going the on. The full details, obviously not. But what we do know of. You know, nine times out of ten, and again, as, as I said, we weren't privy to certain information I when did, we yeah. did the last episode, and then we were, and what we heard was absolutely disgusting. Yeah, look, he was... Him yeah. and the gang of his mates going, or, like, going around on the, on the bikes, not just in Ho Junction, but just all around uh, the yeah. north side, you know, trying to start rows with sure, young I, and I heard uh, that he done something to somebody in Ballymun. Do you know yeah. that they know that young lad that that was stabbed. Got love. Remember down in East Wall, he was meant to have a good career. Oh, was that the one on the East Wall Road? Yeah, there? yeah. yeah he tried I, th- I think it was him that. I know I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think right that, that was who they were on about. But they were slagging him on TikTok or something. And yeah, of, I heard that doing a lot of videos. One, one of his mates wasn't happy about and went down and smashed his window. Smashed that man's window. Yeah. Well, they're gonna get them that 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 boy off more. They can chill. Yeah, they get. Gonna, see, I you heard the same as well that they were. 
finding out who the best fighters were among say groups of lads in certain areas and going and challenging them like no jumping on them they won't like, fight oh, on their own they oh, won't fight like, on their own they're oh so jump- just doing in a gang like. yeah do you, we, if someone asked them for a one on one we don't fight one on one oh we yeah, oh, actually said that yeah ah, so you're a little gay bag like a pack of hyenas yeah it's, like it's disgusting it's nearly like the kind of Law of the jungle type of thing, oh, yeah. you know, like a pack of a hyena. If, if we found out my son done something like that, I'd break his legs. Ah, I'd kill him. Yeah. Fucking Tuzzle would have Ham- a warrant out for him. Hammer to the back of the kneecap. Do you want to go there? <laughs> don't. No, I'm serious. You don't do that. You don't You don't bring kids up there. I'd use my hands all right, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> Listen, if he's going to be a scumbag like that and nearly attempted to murder a young girl, he deserves it. Yeah. You don't raise your hand to any woman. No. And it's as simple as that. No, no, no. No matter what, no matter what the woman, depends now. Some women, some some women can can push people's buttons. Yeah, we don't and, do that though. But you don't you don't push them under the train or anything. No, Tell them I mean, you give them warning. Me face. I, I mean, from the from the from the foot from what you're saying in the footage, there was the gap in the platform between the train and obviously the platform, and she went straight down it. Still now, dangerous. It's all hundred percent. Oh, but listen, it's it's actually more dangerous. Yeah. Because you don't know if them tracks are alive and electric getting. Yeah. There. Exactly. And and what well, so like this is this is the thing. Why why not? Look, imagine that. Imagine you, imagine getting a phone call. Hey, someone there is that a pushing someone down the crack of the train. I'd be saying. Oh, right, I'd be I'd down say, now. I said, where, where exactly is he? So just place ground. I'd be down now. I wouldn't even wait to come at home. No. Tuzla, oh. Tuzla would have a warrant out for me. I tell you, I, do you know what? I'd, I'd buy a stun gun. <laughs> and every, I'd set an alarm for every twenty minutes, and I'd sting him every twenty minutes. Till he realised what he done. <laughs> Oh, I'll torture the cunt because he 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 would have he would have tortured he would have tor- that, that's torture. That girl wouldn't have done it wouldn't have done it a uh, fast death. She would have done it slowly. If the yeah, because they had to get the train to stop. Yeah, the train was stopped at the platform, obviously, but I mean to stop it from pulling off. Yeah, because they they needed to get her out. Exactly, you know it, it's horrible. It would have sucked her. It would have sucked her in, and she would have been in. Peace. Ah, she's gone. Yeah. There'd, be, there'd, there'd have been nothing to bury her. And that's not fair. That's that's someone's someone's daughter. Someone's because I know if I found out someone doing that to my daughter, I'd be looking for the blood. Yeah. And I wouldn't care. All that for members as well. Yeah, it's just wrong. And I know he, what he he knows. Come here, he has to know what's wrong to do something like that. And he's old enough to know. Yeah. He, so I think yeah. he's he's a kid. Like he should, he should be out. He should be out being a kid. Oh, being a kid, not being no. kicking women and having them fall fall down between the gaps in the train and the platform, like so. That's attempted murder. But you know what's going to happen there? He's going to do it to the wrong person, <laughs> and he, he he's going he, they're going to pay for it. The thing is, as I said about the whole thing with the petition and all the outrage culture, people are sick of all this. People are sick of all this. Now, I'm not making I'm not making excuses for his behaviour. I'm actually not, but. With a mother like that looking to to get a claim. Yeah, she's look she's looking to get a claim. Because for, for like for what? Because his face was shown. But how yeah. about if he, if he wasn't being such an idiot and trying to do that to somebody? Right, anyway, I'll read I'll read a bit more. I'll read a bit more about this. Garda arrest. Oh, hold on, hold on, blah blah blah. The mother of a suspected. Where was this? Yeah, here we are. The mother of a boy suspected of involvement in the horrif- horrifying dart incident that saw a girl knocked under a train is considering a li- considering legal action because CCTV footage was leaked. leaked. Oh right, right. So CCTV. Now that shouldn't have happened. Where, no, what's that? That's G- how. That's the G- G- What's that? GDPR. That's the one I'm looking for. And plus, he's, he's a minor. Um, see, because now, now I'd seen his face because it was plastered all over. Yeah. Uh, Facebook and stuff I did see his face um, everyone was like you know this is what he looks like blah 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 I'm just like, but see that's wrong as well like that that is wrong as yeah. well because you, you hold on sorry sorry. I think the goalkeeper actually scored but Liverpool there just give me, <laughs> just give me two seconds there breaking news folks breaking news he did, yeah, he did. look at it look the at goalkeeper it. scored for Liverpool watch him fuck off the header yeah <laughs> <laughs> the goalkeeper it must be the last minute or something yeah last minute Early. <laughs> oh, that's <It's>, brilliant. <laughs> I, I was looking, I was like, no way. Look at that head oh, That was nice. Right, that was actually a nice one. Uh, For a, look, look at Klopp. From the corner. Hey, Klopp, <laughs> <Klopp's on laughs> the middle. Brilliant. I wish, he, I wish we had a Yeah, video do you know what? We're going to start doing videos though, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the restrictions are lifted and stuff, so. And getting vaccines. Actually, that reminds me as well. Uh, I got me uh, fourth vaccine last. I think I, I think I might have actually meant to mention it. Oh, t- yeah, you, did, you definitely did. So I got me forced and I have to get me next one on the 6th of June, the Bank Holiday weekend. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, well, I actually can't believe he scored. Liverpool's goalkeeper just scored a goal there yeah. <laughs> from a corner. Had a header. 
It's just over now. Yeah, it's just over now. Yeah. Darren got balls deep into that there. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna lie. <laughs> Delighted where I was. I love it. Come here, we need to qualify with the Champions League. Yeah, there you go. And that's 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 why. So we move on to the next right. one. Or, or anyway, well, I'll just I'll just finish off real quick here. Right? Guard arrested three teenagers this week in relation to the shock and attack at Ho Junction Dar Station, which had happened on April first. Footage was seen on social media showed a number of young women running to the dart past a group of male youths. Because obviously, you from the footage you're saying they were running to catch it before it pulled yeah. off. So that means it was ready to pull off. Mm. But yeah. kind of just touching on what you said. Um, yeah. That that's uh, so she would have like if they didn't stop that train she would have done it. Oh she was gonna she was dead, she was fucked. Uh but thankfully a security guard and passionate signal to the driver not to move and pull the girl from the attack from the tracks. While it happened a month and a half ago there was widespread revulsion and condemnation when the incident was seen on social media recently. Garda arrested three boys, two sixteen year old and a thirteen year old. 14 year old 14 year old the it's cunt's 14. only getting heard and he's bollocks and he's out fucking harassing I people I fucking know yeah as I said half these cunts have had bigger shits than them that's fucking madness do you know what I mean I'm like what the fuck like, like oh. how are they, like how are all these these young people so brazen 14 year old no he's being led down the wrong road ah oh, the garden pat yeah big he, time he, 100% I, yeah. I don't the, 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 the two 16 year olds are the, the, the ring leaders of that but um yeah, Garda, uh, as part of their investigation of the shocking, inc- shocking incident, the Sunday World can reveal that the mother of one of the suspects has complained that the footage showing her son was leaked and she is threatening to sue Israel, that's who it was, as it was taken from that company's uh, cameras. A source said she was angry that her son was visible in the footage and she she's looking to get a claim of it. A spokesman for Israel confirmed that an investigation is underway into how the footage was made public. Customers have a right to expect that station CCTV is used for their safety and security and to assist investigations not to be dis- distributed in an order- unauthorised manner, the spokesperson, the spokesman said. Sorry. While our foremost priority is to assist the Garda in ensuring those responsible are brought to justice, we are also investigating the unauthorised distribution of this footage and have reported the matter to the Data Protection Commissioner, Commissioner which... It's obviously a violation of yeah. GDPR and all. So that's above. why she that that's the that's a little that's why she can sue them. That's why she can sue them. them. But come here, look, I know shouldn't have been done. Shouldn't have been leaked on social media. No, L- yeah. Looking back on it now, and you also shouldn't have pushed that girl. But you also shouldn't have pushed that girl. Two wrongs don't make a right. That goes without saying. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> she probably won't get anywhere. Oh well, that's the, that. As I said, that goes yeah. without saying as well. But um, I'm gonna leave that there because I don't want to. It's actually very fucking annoying to be honest. Yeah, it is what it is. But if I I don't want to start going too off on it because of the obvious. Yeah. But um, he's a kid as well. He's a kid as well, exactly. But come here. What do you think of uh, El G- El Gypsy King and trainer footage with Nick Diaz? Yeah, yeah. Nick Diaz looked a bit uh, starstruck, didn't he? Just a bit. Yeah, <laughs> just, just, just a bit. Look, you know yourself. Nick Diaz doesn't talk. Like he doesn't stay. Yeah. I don't know why that's <laughs> Or um, that's their playing all of a sudden. They may not. But uh, he's not. He's not a man of few words. Yeah. You know what I mean? He likes to talk, but he didn't say much. No, no. It was a bit. Yeah, Gypsy King was down the talking. He, it was like he was kind of thrown off by. Yeah. He wasn't expecting it probably. Yeah. But he was. But I think he was probably uh, taken aback by the love and the respect he was shown by. Uh, Tyson. Maybe. Well, well, come here. If Tyson's gonna train in MMA, I, I'd, like the best. To, I'd like to see him and Dylan White in a in a in an MMA fight with. Dana White involved and Eddie Hearn. Uh, cross promotion. Yeah, deal. because it can happen. Because, I mean, remember he, uh, Gypsy King did a bit of training with Darren Dale that time? Yeah. It was only like, I think it was like a session what, or something. What did you think of the son? The what's the, 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 the newspaper, the, oh, the article uh, about his missus not wearing the ring. Not wearing the ring, yeah. I mean, but come here, listen, it's the... Like, take it with him. You brain. have to take it that, no, you have to take that with the whole salt of that. <laughs> <laughs> right, the whole, salt, the whole thing of salt on the table and all. But, um, because you know the rag, newspaper, yeah. son. All the above. I, I, I wouldn't. I yeah. think there might be some. I'd say there's some truth, but come here, the picture. But a, pictures can a, be taken a, out of context. Picture though. can paint a thousand words, as you But say, pictures yeah. can also be taken out of context. Like people can paint their own narratives to suit their own agenda. Maybe that's that's someone's friend, or it could be. Like you, you don't know who that is. That could no. be a relation of his. Maybe. So. And maybe she's playing along with it, and she's like, oh, yeah. you know. Well, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have a because this is gonna be the, the last one we talk about when we we leave her at that there because. Uh, yeah, we're, um, we're gone along the ways there. Um, it's been a long day here. Yeah. 
Paris Fiori. Paris Fiori. Infidelity. No, she wasn't being in fidelity. Fidelity. See what happens. Toys of Fiori. Here we are. Oh, no, that's from. Roy, Roy, uh, the only thing I was saying was, uh, was that one on the sun there, so I'm not reading that one again. But, um, yeah, maybe the sun, I think it's, yeah. Maybe now, it's the sun is out the girl. Well, there is a fucking rag of a newspaper, as we know, I mean, I know Liverpool fans don't fucking like them at all. No, hey, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't even buy the sun. No. Not born it. It was never the same after they got rid of the page three anyway. <laughs> What's the hottest part of the sun? Page <laughs> three. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, got it, because Diddy's not. <laughs> <laughs> we leave that there, will we? Yeah. yeah. Right, folks, listen, it's been a, another super deadly rapid episode of the Smell Me Helmet podcast, but just briefly before I finish up here, um, got us. No, 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 no. Um, your work situation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ne- next week we. We won't be putting out an episode no. because, you know, he unfortunately has to work. Now, we could do a, like a Skype thing or a Zoom thing or whatever, but the reason why we don't do it, I just want to address this as well yeah. before we go, right? Um, I find in person, the way we are now, it's better. It's it, it's the chemistry is better, it's there. But when, when you're doing it, you know, through Zoom and stuff, now obviously, you know, for a work situation, that's different. You have to do that. But yeah. when you're in a situa- situation like this, which primarily, in my opinion, anyway, it depends on that chemistry and... Yeah, it's back and forth with the banter and stuff, you yeah, know what I mean? It's I don't like it, I'm not into it. It's it, it, does it disconnect? Yeah. Does it disconnect? And listen, some people love Zoom and stuff, but nah. It's I'd rather I'd rather do sit down. Or, yeah, sit ha, down. Have an old school chat. Yeah. yeah, that's that's it though, and isn't that's it? The it's, one. it's all gone with like with the technology and the way technology, things are. Technology, yeah. That's I mean, just the way it is. I mean it has its uses. But we will be doing uh doing video very, very soon. Very, very soon. You get to see our lovely, gorgeous Mugs on us and all. Yeah. So listen, <laughs> we're gonna leave you. We're gonna love you. We're gonna say good night. God, God bless. bless. God is love. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe at the Smell Me Helmet podcast on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Instagram, I- Instagram, Twitter. The whole lot, right? The Just whole lot. Podbean and all podcast platforms. Boom. Don't forget to give us a like. Boom. Oh yeah, give us a thumbs up now. Yeah. We're playing you.